honorable speaker and honorable members i extend my warm greetings to everyone on the occasion of the commencement of the fourth session of the 14th nagaland legislative assembly it is a great pleasure for me to address this august house for the second time i am confident that this session as always will witness learned deliberations on important matters of public interest and welfare we continue to remain mindful of our unresolved naga political issue which has been one of the major constraints in the pursuit of our development and welfare goals my government have been giving i will continue to give the highest importance to the peaceful resolution of the naga political issue and we will take every possible step in furthering and strengthening the ongoing peace process and in playing the role of active and constructive facilitator we are trying to ensure that our education system at all levels keeps pace with the time on the newest developments in education sector the department of school education have designed interventions through various mechanisms such as strengthening of education management information systems developing a teacher attendance monitoring system formation of professional learning communities of adult learners consisting of uh, system leaders education managers and teachers to strengthen continuous professional development through decentralized capacity building models further for enhancement of the overall learning environment we are planning to construct 16 school complexes based on a hub and spoke model known as the light of school complexes and i am happy to note that the national assessment and accreditation council has successfully accredited 36 colleges out of 71 colleges in the state through the initiative of department of higher education higher and technical education out of the 17 government colleges also we have been able to get 13 colleges assessed by naac our aim is to get all the remaining colleges also assessed at the soonest possible time my government is proud of the immense talent and achievements of our youth in the sporting arena in every sporting event that we have participated in these recent years both at the national and international levels our boys and girls have shown their mettle by regularly winning medals the most notable recent achievements are winning eight medals in the last national games at goa and 80 medals in the second northeast olympics held the department of youth resource and sports commissioned five pre fabricated multidisciplinary sports stadiums our state is also emerging as one of the music and arts capitals in the northeast region and in the country the renowned hornbill music festival has emerged as one of the india's biggest music events the department of pwd and uh, pwd rnb and pwd nh national airways successfully carried out strengthening and upgrading of 
1021.63 kilometers of road in 2022-23. Under the various central and state schemes, the state government is also actively pursuing with the central government for building an airport at uh, Seithu near Kohima. We have proposed the lower tissue 42 MW HEP and Zunki 24 megawatt HEP, which already received the clearness of various ministries concerned in the government of India. And the projects are now posed to ADB for funding. In the transmission sector under the World Bank funded Northeast Region Power System Improvement Scheme, almost all the major towns and uh, load centers across the state have been covered by a robust 132 kilowatt line system. In recent uh, years, several initiatives have been taken for promoting entrepreneurship and making our state an attractive place for setting up industries. The government of Nagaland, in collaboration with the SIDBI, has embarked on a transformative journey by recently entering into four MOUs, Member of Understandings, aimed at catalyzing economic growth and fostering entrepreneurship. The Department of Industries and Commerce is also setting up modern aggregation centers at Long Nam, Tangtongya, and Pursaro. We are positioning ourselves as a producer of organic agriculture products and 40,558 hectares of land have been declared organic while about 20 different crops have been organic certified. The Department of Social and Water Conservation and the Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana is undertaking up bench terracing, <coughs> contour trenching, vermicomposting and water harvesting ponds to reduce soil erosion, and a surface water runoff, and to conserve water. The department is taking steps for area expenses of various horticultural crops like kiwi, dragon fruit, pineapple, papaya, banana, vegetables and spices. The animal husbandry and veterinary department is taking up skilling and capacity building for the entrepreneurs and farmers. The fishery sector in the state continues to witness a notable growth. The Department of Rural Development is aiming to generate 177.4 lakh man days and providing employment to 4.07 lakh households involving 4.67 lakh individuals during the current financial year under Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Development Guarantee Scheme. The Department of Underdeveloped Areas is actively taking up activities to fill up the developmental gaps in the backward regions of the state in the areas of infrastructural development, education, health care, livelihood and economic development, etc. through the border area development program and the underdeveloped areas program. The inauguration of our state's first medical college, the Nagaland Institute of Medical Sciences and Research, Last year was a momentous event for the state. After the total 30,766 dwelling units approved by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs under Pradhan Mandri Abbas Yojana, Housing for All mission in Nagaland, 18,261 DUs have been completed and the remaining are at various stages of construction. On the matter Regarding the announcement made by the Government of India for suspension of free movement regime along the Indo-Myanmar border across the state, this has evoked concern and anxiety among our people. 
especially those staying in the border areas. Our state is endowed with rich biodiversity and forest wealth, and the Department of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has taken another step towards enhancing our forest cover by bringing an area of more than 24,000 hectares under afforestation with above 50 lakh seedlings planted through the JSEA assisted Nagaland Forest Management Project. Happy to see that there has been a consistent growth in our GST collection over the years. Our overall GST target is rupees 1,397.94 crore. And as per the figure, up till December 2023, we have already collected rupees 995.35 crore and are awful of achieving the target. I call upon the honorable members of this August House to keep the interest and the welfare of the people foremost in their minds while deliberating and taking action on any matter of public importance, both inside and outside the house. I wish this assembly session a grand success. Jai Hind! Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.